Hey guys, I hope you've had a wonderful week. Before we get started, swell of the day will now be at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So in last week's video, I asked what you would like to see in future videos. And a lot of you like the idea of me showing my rarest cards. So that's what I've got for you today. I just thought to say though, not all of these are my most expensive cards. My most expensive cards are all the same sort of type. And I thought that'd be a bit boring. So I tried to mix it up a bit. So coming in at number 10, we've got a double act going on. A tag team. We've got Gold Reshiram and Gold Zekrom. These came out in 2013 in the Legendary Treasures collection. These were the two secret rares. These are the first sort of cards you can ever get in like just pure gold form with like the image etched on, but you can see it's got a really nice shine to it, and it's a really cool card. Oh, look at that angle. Oh, Zekrom's more or less the same, just nice shining the etched in image. Whoa. So what are these worth? These are worth about £40 each. They've steadily been going up over the years. Not too quickly. I think when they first came out, they were only £15, £20. So in five years, they've doubled in value. But because of the newer cards that have been released, the new gold cards, I think these have been gaining a bit of popularity so people can have a full gold collection. Coming in at number nine, or should I say number nines, we've got nine cards in this folder that's way too close to the camera, so we're going freehand. So this folder was only obtainable by getting into the Pokemon World Championships 2013 that was hosted in Vancouver. You received nine championship promo cards, which were called Champions Festival. They really look cool. Got a family of Bidoof playing in a dam. A sleeping Oshawa on the log. It's a very cute card. Psyduck actually appears in every single championship promo card. But yeah, you've got nine cards here. So you've got nine Champions Festival promo cards. It's a bit cheaty. I know it's not one card, it's nine, but we're all going to count these as just one card. So individually, this card is only worth about £30, £40, but a whole set of these is worth about £120. At number eight, we have got Chikorita and Cyndaquil. And you're probably wondering, you've seen these cards before. Well, you haven't. What are so special about these cards? These could only be attained by going to the Champions Road in 2000. The main two differences though, they've got a shiny gold star in the corner where the Neo sign is instead of the regular plain white. Also at the very bottom, it says Champions Road 2000. There's also a Totodile and two berries, but I don't have them. I actually picked these up from Japan this year, so you're getting a bit of spoilers of my Japanese haul collection. The value of these two each are about 70 pounds, 60 or 70 pounds, depending on condition. They can go all the way up to uh, about 150 if really near mint. At number seven, we have got the first and only PSA 10 card in the collection. We've got a PSA 10 15th anniversary Pikachu promo for lot and knuckles. This card came from the 15th anniversary promo box which came out in 2013. I also think this was the very first Pikachu full art that came out. Even before the um these boxes. I'm pretty sure these came out in around 2014. So this is a part of history. Pikachu's first ever full art. The electric coming out everywhere. Silver background and you can't really tell but it's got a really nice texture to it. This card graded is worth 120 pounds Plus, I think. It's very hard to tell. I tried to look online. You can still buy the box fairly cheap. Cheaper than this card, PSA 10. But I guess it's not guaranteed you can get this card in mint condition, even just from fresh out the box. Time traveling at number six, we've got Celebi. Well, Crystal Celebi from the Sky Ridge series. Sky Ridge has always been a very popular set. It's because it was a considerably shorter print one than the previous set. Also because of the Crystal Pokemon and because of the amazing artwork. If you saw my last video, I showed you the Umbreon that had a swirl. That was also from the same set. It has some of the best artwork and I'll be showing you another card down the line, but We'll talk less about that. As you can see, the hollow. Oh, I think the Celebi has a swell. This is not swell today, but it has a swell. But it has an amazing hollow. It's got a good artwork. It's just Celebi probably waving goodbye to the forest before it time travels. It's got a, a crescent moon. It's just it's just incredibly detailed to set. And crystal cards are so hard to come by in incredible condition. They're also cool crystal because all the cards, they're supposed to be like, Celebi is supposed to be grass. It's, it's instead a normal type. And it's got a pokey body. 
that's called crystal type so that's where the name derives from this card in near mint plus condition is worth over 250 pounds and i'm actually going to get this one graded myself Blazing its way into number five is Charizard Gold Star. This is probably one of the best Charizard artworks that exists. Not only is it a shiny Charizard, the detail of the fire is incredible. It just shows off a lot of heat coming out of this fire and it really captures the detail. What's also cool about it is that it's just not a fire type, it's a dark type. The whole of the Delta Species cards have sort of a different typing and it's got a whole backstory about how the Holon Tower created off like radiation and then Therefore, it changed the types of the Pokemon. Hey guys, its attack is called Dark Swell. <laughs> Back on point. This card has been going up like anything over the years and currently at near mint condition, it's sitting at 400 plus pounds. This is another card that I'm sending off to grading at some point. It's just something like if you like Charizards, it's something you definitely need for the collection. At number four, we've got another Gold Star card. It's Rayquaza Gold Star. Whoa. Even though Charizard is one of the most popular Pokemon in card form, even Rayquaza Gold Star surpasses that in value. I think a PSA 10 Rayquaza Gold Star is worth over £6,000 and a PSA 10 Charizard is worth about £3,000. The reason this is, this card came in a very dodgy set, as in the conditions were not so great, so it was very hard to get a PSA 10 version. Unfortunately, this is not PSA 10 worthy, but it is in quite good condition. The artwork is just incredible. It's got a really cool spiral effect going on. Its attack is even called Spiral Rush so it really fits in with the artwork. Another reason why this is so expensive is because this was actually a played card because of its first attack. It was very strong and its second attack I guess was also strong but it was mainly used I think for its first attack. All gold star cards also show off the shiny version of the Pokemon. So we've got a black Rayquaza which is just stunning. The value of this card in near mint plus condition is about 500 plus pounds. Right, it's time for the final three. This card might be coming in third place, but it's covered in gold. We've got a Shining Magikarp. This, however, is not the ordinary Shining Magikarp you may have seen before. This is actually a fan club promo. This could only be acquired by obtaining 600 get points. So it was a very hard card that not many people got. The main differences between this card and the regular Shining Magikarp in Japanese is that only the Magikarp is actually hollow and textured. As you can see, nothing else is shiny except for the gold Magikarp. And in the bottom corner, there is no rarity symbol. It's completely different because the one you can get in a Japanese set is completely sparkly. It's got the symbol at the bottom and it's just a completely different card. When I got this card, I actually didn't realise I was getting the Get Fan Club promo one. It was actually because of Max. Before we went to Japan, I realised I had the promo version. He, he sent me a link to this card wondering if I knew about it. And I was like, huh, I didn't know there was a second one. I might actually have it. And he was like, there's no way you have that card. But I couldn't check because I was out at the moment. So I got home as quick as I can. I looked at the card. I took a picture and I was like, Max, mate, I've got this card. I've got the card. And with me thinking this was the ordinary version, I think I got this card for about 50 15 pounds it was it was probably one of my best ever purchases so what is the value of this card well in near mint condition we're looking at 800 plus pounds it's incredible it's a very rare card and it's just actually one of my rarest ones i don't have too many special cards but this is one of them in second place, this is probably my rarest card in terms of how hard it is to get it's delphox art academy there are only a hundred of these cards that exist. That is how rare this card is. This doesn't exist in Japanese and no other language, only English. This is from the Pokemon Art Academy competition that was held in February to March in 2015. Entrants had to create a Pokemon art piece using the Pokemon Art Academy game on the Nintendo 3DS. And the winners got a hundred of their own cards. So the winners didn't get any other card except for their own. I was very fortunate now I know the person who actually won this card so I did ask them if I could buy one of them at the time and I'm very appreciative that they sold one to me. One of the reasons why I actually bought this card I went in search for it was because I really liked the artwork the flames of the card the flames of um 
Del Fox's stick is just, it's just incredible. And I didn't know at the time that it was one of my friends that had actually won the card. And as you can see, it has the Pokemon Art Academy logo in the bottom right corner. So since there's only a hundred of these, it's got a very high value. At PSA 9, near mint condition, this is worth over a thousand pounds. It's absolutely incredible. I will be getting this graded. This will stay in my collection forever. And in first place, my top rarest, most expensive card it is Crystal Charizard. It is such a beautiful card. I was saying about the artwork of the Gold Star Charizard, but I think this might actually have better artwork now thinking about it. You've just seen the amount of detail and effort that has been put into this card with the fire, its claws. It's got a great hollow throughout the card, just like the Crystal Celebi, and it's a really nice looking card. This is also from the Sky Ridge set, so once again, a very desirable, and it had one of the shortest print runs for a set. This was actually one of the first cards I got when started collecting again back in 2012. 2013. I looked up the card, I saw it, and there was an auction ending on eBay, and it was only for £50. And I was like, okay, I'll bid on it. It was listed as good condition. It could be good, could be bad. There wasn't a picture of the back, and I won it for £50. It came a few days later inside an envelope. Just inside an envelope, no sleeve, no hard protector, but it's in the most beautiful condition you can imagine. And I'll be sending this off to PSA, and I'm expecting a a 10 out of 10. It's just that good condition. So hopefully it does get a 10. The value of this card, ungraded, but in this condition, we're looking at about a thousand four hundred pounds. It's just unthinkable that a fifty pound card is now worth in this in the same condition six years later, one thousand four hundred pounds. Graded, we're looking at around two thousand pounds if it gets a PSA ten. At a PSA nine, it will still be around a thousand four hundred pounds. So this is my most expensive card. Maybe not my most rarest. Maybe the Delphox is rarer, but this is my most expensive card and probably my favorite as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What was your favourite card you saw from my top 10 list? And tell me, what is your rarest card or most favourite or most expensive card? I would like to know. Ah, I almost forgot. The Swirl of the Day. This week, Swirl of the Day goes to this fat boy, Snorlax, from the jungle set. Japanese Snorlax. Been eating too much sushi, hasn't you? Hasn't you? Hasn't he? <gasps> Ooh, I did a lot of talk in this video. He's a thick Pokemon with a thick... Thick swell. All right, let's get that in focus. We know how much. Oh, oh, look at that. Look how thick that is. It's, it's actually, I think it actually twists like an actual swell. That's really cool. I think Japanese swells might be better than English. Maybe one day we'll do a full video comparison. I'm kidding. Oh, am I? Oh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Wave goodbye, Snorlax. Oh.